Welcome back to Mythical Kitchen where Nicole and I are locked in the everlasting battle for cooking supremacy. I've won some, I've lost some, you've won some, you've lost some, but Nicole, today I am so confident that I'm gonna beat you in the Battle Beef Wellington mm -hmm. that you can pick any one of these chumps in this room, Nicole. We are not limited to the Mythical Kitchen years today. You can pick any single person in this room to beat me. Hmm. Oh, what about that guy? Him? Where do you even, are you, are you talking about celebrity chef, social media megastar, and author of Knife Drop, Nick DiGiovanni? How do you even get in here? Come on, Nick, come over. God, Yes, dang. clap. No, clap don't for clap for her, don't clap for her. Oh, and you can have uh, that one. Lily, come on, you're on my <laughs> team. <laughs> Nick, for real, thank you so much for being here, man. Uh, we're big fans. I've seen you make Wellington a couple different ways. I think this, it's truly the test of our metal to see if me and Lily can really hang yeah. with the pros here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm We're so excited. Beat. We're gonna beat you guys. No, you're, you're not. Going way down. No, Nick, tell them they're going down. We're, we're pretty good at Wellington together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> the most confident trash talk. That's good. <laughs> what are That's you talking good. about? <laughs> you ready to get cooking? Yep. Yeah, let's, let's do, it. do it. Lily, I know we normally mess around on the show. We have a good time, but this is serious. It's very serious. It's very serious. And yeah. serious for some very specific reasons because Nick has collaborated with multiple of our enemies. Gordon Ramsay. Oh yeah. He considers a mentor. He was yeah. only used as judge on MasterChef. Yeah, why, why is he here then? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we do like him. <laughs> Two, Tom Brady. Nick's a Boston kid. Yeah. Tom Brady was in one of his videos. Me, as a Philadelphia Eagles fan, utterly detest Tom Brady. But like, Tom, come on the show. I think your stand-up comedy career is gonna go great. But in 2017, Lily, yep. Nick Foles, a career backup. He would have been a pastor if not for an NFL quarterback. Carson Wentz goes down. Nick Foles leads the Eagles on one of the biggest miracle playoff runs in history, ultimately winning the 2017 Super Bowl 41-33. Foles throws for 373 yards, beats Tom Brady, despite throwing for over 500. Lily, today, that is why we're making a beef wellington modeled after Philadelphia's greatest sandwich. And what is that sandwich? It's, it's the... not the cheese steak. It is the roast pork sandwich with broccoli rob, provolone, and uh, I don't know, some other stuff. Sports. But for real, the roast pork sandwich is something that's phenomenal. You go to John's Roast Pork, you go to Tommy DeNick's in Reading Terminal Market. Absolutely fantastic. One of the better bites of food you can have. It starts with like slow roasted pork that you shave off super thin. You hold it in the pork jus, yeah. broccoli rob on like a sesame seed, crusty hoogie roll. Uh, it's absolutely delicious. So we're gonna get all those flavors going. Yeah, let's do it. I have some broccoli rob here and we're gonna make a nice duck salad out of it. And we have some cherry peppers and garlic and butter and we're just gonna reduce it down so there's no more liquid and it's gonna be really good. Hell and yeah. We're gonna do this thing. Uh, I'm making a brine right now for the pork loin, so we're gonna add a fair amount. That's either sugar or salt, I can't tell. Doesn't even matter. Oh God, I actually, I, I did that as a bit because I thought that was sugar, but it was salt. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. I do <laughs> we're gonna get some black peppercorn in there. We're getting mustard seeds and bay leaf in there too. Also, yeah, Nick, as a Boston kid, he also went to Harvard. Wow, And He's smart. Uh, yeah, and I, um, as a college dropout, I'm threatened by that. Yeah. And so I'm probably gonna try and give him a swirly in the bathroom. Does anyone know when he's going to the bathroom? What's a swirly? What do you mean, what's a swirly? It's where know. you take the nerd's head and you shove it in the toilet and you, and you flush it. That's just a salt, that's a salt. Brining pork loin is really important because it's such a lean meat that it can get dry if you overcook it. Ideally, we won't do that, but brining just helps a lot of that moisture be retained because you don't have any of that fat to actually help it out. So we're gonna let this sit in the fridge overnight. And then what are we doing? We're hitting it with like a nice little sous vide? Yeah. Nice, dude. You're doing great. I know, my arm hurts. Do you want me to help? Oh uh, yeah, I'll I'm put the butter quick. in and then you two. Do you ever want to go to like a WNBA game together? Um, sure. Who's your favorite Ogumike sister? Uh, I don't know who that is. Mine's Neka. Mm, that's a good one. Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you grew up in Maine. Are you a? Uh, you grew up with like Pats football? Like your parents into the Pats? They're split between the Patriots and the Cowboys. Literally, the, the Cowboys. two yeah. evil empire teams. Yeah. You were not raised properly. I used to collect baseball cards when I was in. little though, yeah. Garlic's fragrant, you're gonna add the rob. Mm. You collect baseball cards? Yeah. How much money are they worth? I don't know, I don't know where they are now. My brother. Buried treasure? <laughs> <laughs> Cherry peppers are a big part of my Philadelphia experience. Uh, I serve them at like cheesesteak shops, you go to hoogie shops, you get out of the hoogie shop on Market Street, hoogie? and you get white. Hoogie? Hoogie. 
Hoagie. Why are you saying Hoagie weird? You're saying it. Just hoagie. say Hoagie normal. Hoagie. Just say, say Hoagie. Uh, so we're gonna continue cooking this down until all the moisture's gone. We're gonna pull out that pork loin. We're gonna sous vide it, and then we're gonna do this for the green, baby. We're doing this for Philly pride. Let's do it. Gabagool. Gabagool. <laughs> We got a bunch of Deets and Watson. Gabagool, I don't even know if they say Gabagool in Philly. Beef Wellington is typically wrapped in prosciutto, but we wanted to do a nod to all the beautiful Italian-American delis uh, over in Philadelphia. So we got some proper Deets and Watson, Capicola or Gabagool, as Tony Soprano would say. And you're gonna finish making a sheet of that? Yes. Hell yeah. I'm gonna start making our cheese sauce. Nick DiGiovanni, he's like a fancy cook. Yeah. Master chef. Yeah. Does some fun sciencey things. Yep. We know how to do some fun sciencey stuff. I'm pouring boiling hot beer into a pot. Yeah, it smells good. Oh God. I love some hot beer. We got some sharp provolone picante. We got Gruyere and we have Parmesan. I'm gonna add, this is gonna work. Sodium citrate, it's, I call it the God chemical. It binds the protein and the fat uh, inside of cheeses. That's how American cheese gets made. And so I'm gonna add exactly 15 grams of sodium citrate to our beer and milk. Mm. And we're gonna let that warm. Really? I think it's done right there. That's, that's good. <laughs> I am patting my duck cell down on here and making a nice little square inside of a square. Just making sure that there's no air bubbles in it because yeah, that it sick. will not work. If that looks air sick though. I'm pretty jazzed on this. Press it down. Uh, have you made Wellingtons before? Is this a thing that's like uh, in your bag, as they would say? No, I've made it once and it was, I, I don't think I'll do it again. Well, yeah. I guess I am doing it again, but. Here we are. Gonna add a hefty pinch of salt to that, because we got a lot of that beer going in there. Well, this is melting, I'm also gonna add a fair amount of black pepper. Because this is where I typically, with like a beef wellington, you'd be doing like a Bordelais sauce or something, right? Like a nice kind of red winey panju demi yeah. situation. We're, we're doing nacho cheese. We're doing nacho cheese, baby. <laughs> I'm rubbing mustard on this pork loin. Um, it has been seared and chilled in the fridge. I think with like beef wellingtons or in our case, uh, pork wellingtons, everything is just like super temperature sensitive. So if it's super hot, it's gonna actually like melt the puff pastry before it gets in the oven. So you wanna just make sure everything is chilled nicely. I'm so creeped out by you rubbing that down with black gloves. Why? I gotta say. Why? It's weird, the black gloves are weird. The black gloves became a TikTok thing. Is it my Does rubbing Nick black or gloves? is it the... It's both, oh, the black it's all of it. Oh. It's all of it that's creeping me out. I think she's ready to be wrapped. She's doing something. It's a oh, little it unnerving nice. right now. Okay. Well, if not this, we can pivot to just buying a can of nacho cheese. Yeah, we could do that. Okay. I'm gonna wrap believe. this, Josh. I need help. Lily, Vincent Papale. Who? Mark Wahlberg played him in the movie Invincible. I cannot communicate with this generation. Sorry. Actually, I don't, how do you want me to? I just want. Service? I just need to tuck in the little loin here. I uh, I learned I learned how up. to tuck once. What is tucking? From a professional drag queen. She taught me how to tuck. Oh, I do know what tucking is. Yeah. I learned that recently. But we didn't have any protective <laughs> equipment, so it was just straight, just raw. Wait, raw I was duct gonna tape. ask you it, about that. Were you? Yeah. Why, well, did you see the YouTube video? There's a YouTube video of it. No, there's other people that work in this office, and we had a discussion about oh, tucking. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And so it was just, I mean, just straight duct tape everywhere, what? everywhere. And I had to go rip it off in an LA convention center bathroom. Look at our baby. Dude, check out this cheese sauce. Looks kind of... It's a little, um, it little probably thin. needs a little more cheese, but I think it's like, is it good? Oh, snap. Do you taste the non-alcoholic beer? You do, yeah. I think we let it cook a little bit, add a little bit more salt. I mean, that texture is utterly gorgeous. Check that out. Mmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Super silky. I think it's we very silky. Cook this down, let the cheese kind of like... Cook into that beer a little bit, a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper. You got your little baby, that's yeah. great. Lily, the Philly special is almost done. It's almost done. Now Our the... baby needs to be wrapped. <laughs> yeah, you swaddle your baby, Lily. Yes. I don't want... Oh, Thank God. you okay. for my baby. Uh, what most people don't know about the Philly special is that Tom Brady and the Pats actually tried the exact same play earlier, failed, because Tom Brady is not very athletic. Uh, but then Nick Foles, who has the power of God in Philadelphia, Jesus on his side, was able to complete it. Of course, wait, that's so trailer. crazy. Yeah, oh my God, isn't it? That's crazy. No, that's no, crazy. is that not the craziest thing you've ever heard? I've literally never heard a no, like literally. Worse. No, seriously. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'm just gonna do a little egg wash. Yeah, 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 yeah. get it in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like when you do a little yeah, gremlin, yeah, little gremlin yeah, noises, uh, you know. Yeah. Yep. 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 Flopping. Yep. There we yep. go. There we go. And now we're just we're just gonna. Tuck, tuck. Speaking of tucking, yeah. tuck, tuck, tuck. Expert tucker. Where does the duct tape in this? 
the duct tape. Oh, yeah. yeah. We you could wanna, just duct tape it and together. Then, boy, I'll tell you what, depending yeah. on your heritage and when you hit puberty, a lot of hair comes off on that duct tape. Can you help me get this, our yeah, little yeah. baby, on the tray? Yeah, yeah. I'm not a supportive father. Yeah. No, th yeah, you're holding it. Just hold it by its head. I'm, I'm yeah, trying to support, support the now. I don't want to hold babies. Oh, God, I get nervous. Flip it, though. It's a flip this way. Flip, flip it this stomach way. Flip on, it back. Stomach. Flip it back. Flip yeah, it on. Stomach yep, like yep, that. Yep, yeah, yep, that's yep. great. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm going to do with a baby. Yeah, yeah. I tell him who did it. Okay, well, I don't know what this is, but we are going to bake it off, and we're going to beat Nick and Nicole. So, Nick, you flew in here from Boston? Yeah, you ready? Oh, boy, are your arms tired? No, my arms are good. <laughs> Why would my arms be tired? It's a joke. Oh, it's I get like, it. I, I get just it. flew from Boston. I'm blue. I get it. No, okay, I get yeah, it. No. So You're supposed to be on my team, though. You're not supposed yeah. to try to be. What? <laughs> Frick. I'm going to be making the duck cell. Okay. A little bit of olive oil. That's great. Do you know what a duck cell is, by the way? Could you define it? I do. Because I actually like, don't know if I can give a perfect definition small, of it. Small, tiny little thing that's cooked down into oblivion that is typically in a beef wellington. It's basically this sort of mushroom puree that you're looking yeah. to wrap your beef wellington with. That's but right. It's very weird because it's the only application of anything like this that I can think of. Yeah, I, stuffed mushrooms? Stuffed mushrooms? Sometimes have a duck cell in them. Well, I, that's amazing. I just learned something yeah, new. Yeah, see? Well, every time you come into the mythical kitchen, you're going to learn something new. All right, you, it's going to start smelling good. I'm down. I'm down. Go for it. All go right, for it. a little bit of garlic and my shallots. Nice. Or shallots, as Gordon likes to call them. Are you a big shallot guy? I like shallots, I'm yeah. a big shallot girl. I think it's my favorite allium. I think shallots are amazing. Are you into other alliums? I like all the alliums. Yeah? I like you all, like chives? I like all the alliums. What about garlic scrapes? Garlic scapes? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> have I been saying, have I been saying the scrapes this whole time and that's incorrect? So I'm going to sear this tenderloin. Look at this beautiful tenderloin. Look at it. It's perfect. Smile. Nice. Take check. a picture. We're not trying to cook it all the way through, right? Because I watched your video like 18 times okay. and you like yours rare, right? Yeah, rare, medium, medium, medium rare. Like not blue though. I would say go for medium rare, maybe even medium sometimes. I'm actually okay. a medium steak guy. You're a medium guy. steak yeah, guy. I'm a medium, I'm a medium rare guy. steak guy. I'm a medium. More, yeah. I like I like it bloody. But we'll try to we'll try to cook ours a little bit more. Yeah. I watched that video so much, man. I got your you prepped, mannerisms down. You prepped down. a lot. Your mannerisms down. You say the word nice a lot. Do I? Yeah. When you cook, you're like, I want to get this nice and blank. But I do the I say beautiful a lot. They're gr they're both good words. Yeah, yeah. Would you say that nice is your favorite word? <laughs> I'm trying to make friends, guys. I'm gonna toss these nicely yeah. minced mushrooms okay, into okay. my into my wow, body. Okay. Nice. Wow. Wow. And wow. He's working so fast. You ready? Love it. Yeah. Am and I ready? And a little bit of salt. Wow. It's crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. Yeah. I've never seen someone work with so much vigor. <laughs> Wow, look at all the liquid that's being removed from those mushroom duck cells. Also, they are assorted. There was about like six different kinds of mushrooms in there. Which types? Okay. Button? Yeah. Cremini? 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 Is that how you say it? Have I been saying that wrong? All I right. like cooking with you. You're nicer than the other white man. Tom Brady intentionally deflated those footballs. You like Tom Brady? I think he's cool. You yeah. like, is he your favorite yeah. football star? <laughs> totally. I mean, how, how could he not be? Yeah. Right? All right. Wow. A little bit of that. Uh-huh. But then we're going to do the okay. trick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, it's not that, it's not as much Yay! fire as I thought it would be. Everyone clap. No, it's, Yay! no, we need. Thank you. That was good. We no. need more fire than that. What do you want me to do? You want it? You want a thingy? You want a torch? No, I'm going to wait a sec. I'll do it again. Okay, that's fine. I wanna. Why you make me? Why you make me do things I don't wanna do? <laughs> hey, how tall are you? Six three. Wow, I'm five three and a half. You're full foot taller than me. Stand up straight. Back to back. Okay, now wingspan test. But you have the mat. You I, have the mat. Wing wingspan test. Now, what we're gonna do is wrap our Wellington, but not the whole way through. We're just gonna wrap it, crepe wrap it, right? Yes. So why we're making the burrito. We're making the burrito. That's yep. so smart. Yep. So why do we do this? Explain explain why we double wrap it pretty much. Okay, so first of all, we made these crepes because it's gonna basically soak in some of that moisture. Okay. 
And when you cut open a Wellington, you want it to be nice and tight all around the edges so that you can see the clean lines of each stage. Got so it. you have the meat, and then you have the duxelle, and you have the prosciutto, and then you have the crepe. This will also soak up all the liquid that that's that. falling out of the meat. Right? That's so, awesome. Yeah, it's a nice little protection safety measure. It's not technically classic, Sure. but we're gonna do it anyway. Hey, that other team is pretty bad, right? Oh, Philly sucks! So that other team is... is yeah, I mean, hit them. I just with it. feel bad. Why? Why do you feel bad? I don't know. You, do you not like them? No, I like them. <laughs> um, are you gonna paint this? Oh with, yes. Paint oh my this god, I'm mustard? sorry. Thank you for thank you for keeping me on track. I got distracted. We don't have another uh, crepe, do we? Mm, no. Okay, that's fine. Is that okay? It just like looks a little funny. It looks a little. Yeah, it does look funny. But you know what? We'll yeah. use that to our advantage. You know. Okay. It looks a little funny. It acts a little funny. You know, kind of like you and I. Totally fine. Yeah. You know, a little off the beaten path. Off the <laughs> How's the painting? The painting looks awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We basically want to paint it the second it finishes because it yeah. soaks in all that mustardy flavor, yeah. right? Yeah, clean on the inside, cream on the... No, no, I'm sorry. Let me, let me do that again. Clean, clean on the outside, cream on the inside, NASCAR paint job. You know that's I don't understand that reference. <laughs> Damn it! I'm really trying to connect here. <laughs> all right, you Just, want to do I the honors? It, so where, where should I put it? Right at the base. Right here? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Nice. And okay. you're gonna roll it? Good, okay. yeah. Okay, what should I do yeah. to motivate you? You have to basically help me make sure that it stays really nice and, and, and well-wrapped, okay? So I can't do an interpretive dance. I don't think that would help that much. I really wanted to do. <laughs> it's burrito time. Yeah. With crepes. All right, yeah. Yeah. Good? Yeah, so good. All right, so and then we just have to tuck it just like we tuck would it. a burrito. You tuck know? it and frick it. I don't know what that is either. Oh, it's okay. Is that another reference? I'm I can't say the F word on this channel. Oh, because is that why you we'll said? We'll lose money. That's why you so said. So frick instead of frick. The, the original bad word. Got it. Stunning. Oh my gosh, like a little like a little sea salt caramel. Look at that. All right. Boom, burrito. Okay, nice stuff. It's a nice cute little burrito. Nice. Toss in the fridge? Yep, toss in the fridge and then we'll wrap again. Perfect. Are you ready to roll? I'm ready to roll. Show us how you roll. All right. You're gonna roll. No, actually. no, that's why I meant like this. Show us the body roll. All right. Do a little body roll. Come I'll on. I'll do the body it's roll. It's very natural of you. you. Put your hands on your hips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so we have enough space to work with here. Do you like making beef wellingtons with another person, or are you like, this is just a solo <laughs> job for me? I would say because of how many layers there are to it, mm -hmm. I, I like I like having a team. Oh, okay, like good, good. Yeah. yeah, okay. Ooh. All right, good. You know who does that, right? Who does this when they? Uh, yeah, I do. Well, who is LeBron James? There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who is King James? Yes. Yeah. Le nice. LeBron James. All right. I am ready. Take our little burrito, baby. Yes. Put it back at the base. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Yes. Do you want to try to roll? Okay. Can yeah. You can do it. Yeah, I, I can, think you can do, do whatever. It. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Keep it nice and tight. Don't don't press into it though. Okay, okay, okay. How's that? Keep you put going? a smiley face on it. I did. <laughs> All right, we need a knife. Okay, I'll get one of those for you. Hey, while I was back here, look what I found. Somebody's book. Look at this. What's your favorite recipe in here? Well, because we're both Persian, I have a crispy rice. Oh my is, gosh, a tadig recipe? But it's done in the oven. Hey, hoda, chokat right? kashai. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. That's very sweet. Where are pages are on? Come on, man, it's I your book. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm so excited you have a crispy rice recipe in here. I can't wait to, to pick this up for myself. I think the crispy rice, though, you won't need the recipe for that. Um, I'm actually really bad at cooking Persian food. I'm trying to oh. get better every day, but uh, my mom refuses to teach me. Then we'll make sure that you get the book. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, ready? Okay, yes. All right, so we're going to trim this. Okay. Once we kind of tuck it in here, we got to make sure it's really nice and snug. Sealed, uh-huh. Okay. Wow. You want to help me seal a little bit? Yes. Okay, seal it up. Looks good, right? That looks gorgeous. She looks really nice. Yeah. Okay, let's. She? What, what's ahead. her name? She. I'm gonna. Why don't you name it? Okay. Lisa. <laughs> Lisa? <laughs> looks like a Lisa. I feel like Do you like that name? Not a good name. Okay. Give me something to work. What kind of name do you want? I can't complain. Because okay, I, so my I nickname like actually is Nick. My friends all call me Nick. And your name is Nick. Yeah. Why don't we call this uh, Double Nick? Okay. Double Nick the Beef Wellington. That's fine. Do you like that? I think I like this Lisa. Is wonderful. Oh, okay. Well, we'll go with Lisa. I promise you, this is going to be the most beautiful Beef Wellington you've made on Mythical Kitchen today. <laughs> a little bit more? It's okay. You can go over it. I'll go over it just a little bit. Thank you. Just I for appreciate safety. it. Yeah, I get it. Just for safety. 
Wow, this is gorgeous, and it's not even baked yet. I'm gonna let you do the last, last part. Okay. The salt. Okay. Grab the flaky salt. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, do you know I went to Salt Bay's restaurant in Turkey? Yeah, I went to his restaurant in, in Boston. And? It was fine. Yeah, it was just fine. He, I met him, he's really nice, actually. I didn't get, I wanna meet him. He was just in the restaurant. He was what? just hanging in out. in Boston? He was just hanging out. I was in his motherland, and he, had, he wasn't there. He was in Boston eating baked beans. He had beans one AirPod in his ear, and he was just going like this back and forth. He was Big just, yeah, and then he, you know, he would he would go like this. He would go, and then he would pivot back oh, and forth. Oh, wow, like this? <laughs> yeah, okay, he did that. Let's pivot on three. Yeah. Okay, wait, I finished on. already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I added enough salt. Done. Move over, no, now it's done. <laughs> now it's done. <laughs> okay, now we put it in the oven? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah, put it in the oven. And then, on the count of three, say you're going down, other team, okay? One, two, three. You're, you're going, going down, down, other team. team. <laughs> Gwyneth, before you, you have two Wellingtons. One made by myself and Lily, the other made by Nicole in the younger, smarter, more handsome, or more talented version of myself. Nice. <laughs> Giovanni. Um, do you swear to be an impartial judge so help you God? Uh, oh, yes, I do. <laughs> Here we have the Philly Special Wellington. Okay. This is modeled after a Philadelphia roast pork sandwich. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got the broccoli rob duxelle. We have wrapped it in Dietz and Watts and Capicola, gabagool if the lady prefers. And we have a brined pork loin uh, wrapped in mustard and then a sharp provolone uh, sodium citrate nacho cheese sauce. Whoa. Okay. I'm going for it. Are you ready? What's Getting some of the sauce. And I got some of the puff pastry. I'm trying to finish Better Call Saul. <laughs> it's good. Mm. Really different. I will say the cheese sauce is very salty. And I do think that it's like, sorry, overpowering the like innards of this a little bit. And I want to take a bite of just those. Mm -hmm. But I want puff pastry too. Because I want to be able to assess it. Yeah. Okay. You're going down. It's salty sauce. It's not good. <laughs> It's good. Puff pastry is a little doughy. Mm. It's okay. Sometimes you get a little doughy, you know. You okay. Know. <laughs> I know. I'm a little doughy you too. Find so. In place in your relationship. <laughs> Would you like me to explain this? Yeah, like? please do. Okay. So Nick and I have made for you a classic beef Wellington with a mushroom duck cell prosciutto wrapped in a beautiful puff pastry, served with a jus and some chives on top. Please enjoy. Okay. So Josh said that you went to Harvard. Mm, somehow. Do they teach you how to do this at Harvard? No. Oh God. They should though. They Definitely. Should how, they should teach you how to do this everywhere. I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah, because this is much, this is like cooked this. properly in a way that when I made Beef Wellington myself, it was not at all. It was very It's rare. a tough one. Did you overcook it or undercook it? Undercooked it, it. Mm, yeah. It happens, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mustard. Put the mustard in. The beef jus. The mustard. Jus is also. You did that. Very salty. Oh. Ah. oh. I was about. I was complimenting Oops. you. Again, Oops. I'm gonna take a bite without, and I just want to get. I have a question. Are you sure that you just salad. don't have too much salt in your diet, and this is your body telling you to stop it? I taste salty food for a living. Why yes. do you talk to our judges like this? It's I'm so super good. I'm no. trying to defend. No, I'm sorry. I'm trying to defend all of our honors. I think we season it properly. <laughs> this is really hard. I hope you guys chance. have a while. <laughs> we have nothing but time at the Mythical Kitchen. Nice. What time is it? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta watch Better Call Saul. <laughs> I do think that these are both like executed extremely well though. Cool. Like, I think the puff pastry looks about the same on both of these. Um, I am obsessed with the broccoli rob in this one. I think that is so clever and so I love the sesame seeds on the outside too. It's beautiful. Just like John's roast pork. Um, I wish that the pork had a little bit more flavor, I but I do things. think that I'm going to go with this one. <gasps> Let's go! <laughs> Underdog, oh just God. like Vince Papale. This is for all the Super Bowls that Don't Donovan McNabb did not win. Sports! Lily, I'm incredibly proud of you. You uh, know what? We fought. We fought hard. We I fought really hard. Yeah. Go buy Knife Drop. It's a great cookbook. It's a be it's beautifully shot. It's beautifully written. Got great recipes in there. You can teach how to make the second best Wellington in all of the oh. mythical kitchen today.
I'm just kidding. Nick, truly though, man, thank you so much. You guys were a blast. I was, I was having a blast watching you guys. I was dying laughing. I wish I could Nicole say the same. Nicole kept trying to interpret dance. <laughs> <laughs> we'll I think on. you should end with an interpretive dance. No problem. Take oh, us out, Josh. Oh, you! Oh, I, didn't, I thought you wanted me to dance. No, take just us out, Josh. Thank God. Just, yeah, take yeah. us out. Well, can we get like a 15 seconds of silence? Just let Nicole interpret dance. No, you have to. You have to. You have <laughs> all right, to. Thank, thank you all for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes out every week. Uh, check out Nick. Can you spell out your entire TikTok handle right now so they know where to find you? The entire thing. Yeah, yeah. So it starts with the at, of course. At, the at that sign. N i c k dot. D I G I O V A N N I. If anybody didn't hear that, that's at N I C K dot. Yeah. Uh, G I O V A N N I, and it's rounds D Giovanni. Yeah. You yeah, almost got it. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's close. It's close. <laughs> All right. And then, of course, we are at Mythical Kitchen um, on Instagram, on TikTok, Twitter. We're all over there. You know, Nick's got a great Twitter presence <laughs> as well. And Gwynedd, you're you're at you're still on the Instagram. <laughs> Yeah. I'm on Instagram. Lily, you, yeah, what do you, you want to, what's your address? At Lily Cousins. <laughs> Great. Uh, yep. What's your address? <laughs> we'll see y'all next time. <laughs> the Randler just got brutal. Shop the Mythical Beast Death Metal Tea Plus sticker now at mythical.com.